Hi, this is Digital by Computing. So we're going to go through the steps on how to upgrade to a new iPhone 6s. So just got this new iPhone 6s, got my old iPhone 5s. We're going to go over the steps on how to back this up. All right, so we're plugging this into the computer and backing it up and then plugging in the new iPhone 6 and then transferring all the data from one device to the other. All right, so new iPhone 6s. Beautiful new device. Okay, so I got the 128 gig version. All right, so let's go over the steps on how to do this. Okay, so I've got the old phone. You want to plug, plug the cable into the bottom of it, and then you're running that into your computer's USB port. All right, so you're running that end into your computer's USB port, and we'll open up iTunes and do the backup and the restore. So you just need to open up iTunes once your iPhone is connected to the USB port on the computer. iTunes will open up. You'll see this option here, all right, this icon, and then you'll actually have your iPhone here open. So you'll see it's, it's detected the old iPhone 5S. Uh, it's got the iOS number, etc., etc. It'll show you here how much stuff you've got on it, audio apps, etc. And then all you have to do is click on sync. All right, you can also click on backup now, but you want to make sure that automatically backup is also set to this computer and not iCloud. Because if you if you're using iCloud, then this step will be different in terms of restoring to your new 6S. So in my case, I had it on this computer, and we want to click on sync. All right, you'll see at the top here, it's now saying preparing to sync. It's going to now start transferring. It only did take a few seconds because I generally do this. Um, pretty often, um, but that should be the process for updating your old iPhone. Once that is done, okay, you'll know that it's done because there's no activity on your iTunes anymore. You can I've got the new iPhone 6S, okay, and exactly the same. I'm going to plug that port onto the bottom of your uh, phone there, plug it into the port, and then the other USB end into your computer. So your iPhone should show up inside your iTunes. And essentially all you have to do is from the restore from this backup option, you select the latest iPhone backup. All right, so in this case, it's gonna be this particular one here from the iPhone 5S. Click continue. It's gonna ask you for the password if you've got one. And then it's gonna to start to restore your iPhone 6S from your previous backup. So you'll see that the iPhone is now restoring. So we'll let that go through. We'll take some time depending on how big it is. So your iPhone 6S should now be all recovered and restored. And you'll see that you've got all your apps. All right, the beauty about iTunes is that you can go and actually reshuffle all your apps how you see fit as well. But there you go. So that is the whole iPhone 6S set up. Right, it's got some really cool features like you can hold and touch these sort of things. You know, it's actually really cool stuff. So that is the whole lot. So. Uh, I hope you found that helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Digital Bike Computing, for a whole bunch of more videos.